Hey guys, Jason here. Just wanted to show you a quick video of some of the power I get uh, coming in uh, using that dual core Freedom 2 and the uh, old school Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, you see the wind speeds there, the volts and amps. Those volts and amps are being spread uh, to the battery bank, which is down that direction, and up to the grid ties. And those grid ties are hooked up in parallel, positive, 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 all the way through. And then negatives, all hooked up as negatives. But uh, let's watch a little bit of the power coming in. 215 watts there. 192, 135, 168, 222, 207, 210, 179, 158. Look at the amps and volts. They're running pretty good. This is definitely going to be charging my battery bank, so that's cool. When I switch to a battery bank and less, uh, less grid ties, because uh, the grid ties are not that efficient. I don't like them that much. end up losing a lot of power going through the grid size, I think, instead of just going through a battery bank and then using power off the battery bank. So I'm going to be building a battery bank this year. I'm going to try to anyway. If I can afford it, it's going to cost some money, but I'm going to try. And then run stuff in the house off the battery bank. These turbines are actually made for charging batteries, not for running grid size. Um, like my previous video, they... Eh, <laughs> the turbines end up blowing up the grid ties uh, or they won't. 190, 230, 167, 111. <laughs> it's like decent power for uh, splitting it to the battery bank and to, uh, you see down here, this is my uh, single core uh, little 500 and the battery bank's at 13 volts right now. And this is the power coming in off of the, uh, the little 500 just goes straight to that and then down to the battery bank, which is down below there. So, 391, 2, 260, 230, 188. It's pretty good power, I think. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I just thought I would get you a shot of some power off my system. And it's been doing this all day and all yesterday I reset this 416 wow 285 204 it's doing good and this is the only way I figured out how to run grid ties safely on my uh, turbines without them blowing up is by having it hooked up to a battery bank and uh, using that uh, battery isolator for charging two battery banks at the same time but instead of charging two battery banks I charge one battery bank and the other leg goes up to the grid ties. It's the only way I can keep my grid ties from blowing up. Anyway, battery lights flashing. Let me show you outside. I would give you a video of the turbines except for it's pitch black out here. So, it looks like the battery is going to die on me. I don't know if you can hear the winds in the distance. Sounds like a jet out there. Alright you guys, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Just a little bit of a shot of the powers coming in. Using my type of setup. So it does work. I'm not making as much power as I probably could be if I was using just pure grid ties, but then I would be worried about grid ties blowing up if I was running just pure grid tie. So anyway, this way I feel safer and I haven't blown up a grid tie yet. So that makes me happy. The less work I have to do on grid ties, the better. So going to a full battery bank. Uh, and maybe a couple of grid ties. Alright, well, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Mm,